I'm the lone long ranger. Shout out to the Navy SEALs, Sniper Division. Pow. King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yeah. What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I would like to welcome you guys to the NBA All-Star Game this year. We are in 2016. We are in my sophomore year. I got D-Rose, LeBron James, Paul George, and Kevin Love at the starting positions. How cheesy is this lineup? Paul George ain't even in the NBA right now. He injured. But we're going to go ahead and try to get this W with a cheesy lineup. Let's go ahead and hop into this commentary. We win. All right, already starting things off, LeBron James decides to take matter into his own hands, but he can't nail the layup. Now, we do get back on defense, so we stop their little fast break run. And check out Westbrook, man, trying to be a nice little passer right here, kicking it over to Kevin Durant for the three, and Kevin Durant knocks down the jumper, hand down, man down. Now, check this out, same situation, Kevin Durant off the screen, off the inbound, misses the three-point shot, so we decide to try to get out on a fast break, but things don't go that way, so I decided to slow it down. Now, I call for a pick and roll from my man, Kevin Love, go around the pick, got an easy lane to the basket, but I want this nice little assist, but Kevin Love had the same idea on his hand, so LeBron James does knock down the jump shot. Look at LeBron James. Mm, mm, mm. Now, Kevin Durant is pulling from everywhere on the court, and we're going to take advantage of his misses. And I go in with the nice little D Rose layup package. What up, Rose? I see you. <laughs> Now, checking things out, Chris Paul is a beautiful passer, and Blake Griffin is amazing. Takes the contact, gets the layup, doesn't worry about the foul, but we do have tricks up our sleeves as well. I come down, decide to run a nice little play, and check this out. LeBron James is playing at the power four position. How cheesy is that? He knows the defense wasn't going to come out there. Now, I'm on the offense trying to get a couple things going, get inside the paint, kick it out to my man Bradley Bill, but he doesn't want to take it, so I'll take the jumper. It ain't nothing but cash. You know how I do. Now, back on defense, we do get a nice little lead here, but Steph Curry is now in the game, and now i got to stick a brilliant shooter, but check this out. I forgot about a new shooter that came in. James Harden nails it from three. These guys can't be stopped when it comes to the three-point shot, but guess what? I got a few moves on me as well, so I try to get past Steph, and I notice things aren't working the way I set out for it to be, but a double team does get called. Bradley Bills pulls up for the J and hits a buzzer beater. Okay, it's only the first quarter. No need to get hyped, but we do take a three-point lead with that shot right there. Man, big shot right there. Check out Bradley Bill nailing it. Mm, all net. Ew. All right, so it's 43 to 47, second quarter. Now, I know you guys are like, what happened to the the entire second quarter? Actually, I was subbed out, sitting on the bench, trying to get some rest. Man, that shooter's fatigue is real. Now, I'm shooting 55%. Now, I could talk about my shooting percentage, or I could talk about how Blake Griffin wants to go in. But check this out, man. Damian Lillard brings the headband back, nails the three, brings it within one. What's going on right now, East Coast? What's up with y'all? All right, so we're trying to take a commanding lead here. So I decided to call for isolation, see if I could open things up. Now, nobody comes for the double team, so I decided to run a little play here. I'm not going to be selfish, not going to call for it. And Paul George actually does something that's needed, makes a bucket from the power forward position. So with that being said, we did take a commanding lead. You know, I turned up a little bit, tried to get a few more assists, but mainly my teammates were hitting shots. Now, I will tell you a little something about Kevin Durant. This dude has no mercy at all. Nails the shot all up in his face. But now that we're in the third quarter, I'm gonna do something that I don't do normally and set these picks. Now it's all about the picks. Y'all don't know about these picks, but I do this. Now, I do call isolation against a bigger defender. I think that I'm going to get past him, and I hit him with a couple moves. I get past him, but check this out. I got cheesed because my posterizer did not activate in time. So, I do miss that shot, and they come back down. Hit me with a little bit of fatigue, but hey, it's all good. We're going to go ahead and take that time out. Now, they do come a little closer to, you know, tying it up and Kevin Durant tried the same exact move on Paul George. Paul George said nah not this time and I throw the alley-oop to LeBron James on the break. Check the replay ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Looking nice. Now I'm trying to play defense on everybody. The only reason for this is because Blake Griffin is a freaking beast. If I let Blake Griffin get loose in the paint we won't win. 
Now I do hit my man D Rose for the three. Of course, you know he's the computer. I can't control him, so he misses that as well. But check this out, man. Kevin Durant. I don't know what happened right there, but they switched me to Kevin Durant at the last second, and he nails the three-point shot. Now almost did turn that ball over but i'm gonna go ahead and try to award my man with his pick and roll so i'm waiting for him to come and the pick and roll doesn't happen but Bosch still gets the layup to go i still get my assist the crowd still goes crazy and that's what i like to see now the marcus cousins passes over to harden harden does what he has to do gets to the rack and doesn't draw the foul but gets the arm now it's all good it's 80 to 84 it's a minute and 10 left in the third. I'm putting on all these cheesy moves, trying to see if I can get past my defender. And I did drop him, but I'm not going to take full credit for that because I did give him that MJ bump. But I'm not even going to talk about the MJ bump. I'm going to talk about that dime I just dropped, though. Thank you, Bill. Now, we're out on the fast break, but you don't want to call it the fast break because nobody wanted to run there. Now, I try to give LeBron James a nice little pick. He doesn't take it. And I say, you know what? I'm going to take what I need to get right here. Pass it over to my man, Wall. Try to go to my spot. Didn't actually make it all the way there, but I did cut to the basket for a nice little layup. I thought I was about to just, you know, shoot the J or something. But back on defense, I step up on Curry with the double team. Cousins, you better not pull the three. He passes it back to Curry. Curry fakes pass it. I come over for the double team. The ranch wide open. He misses the shot, but Cousins gets the tip in. Come on. Really? Huh. <sighs> Since nobody boxed out, we had to come back down on offense to get a couple things going. And I had to give DeMarcus Cousins a little payback, but no! LeBron James did not help me out there. He didn't pick no goddamn Kevin Durant. He didn't slap him. He didn't tackle him. He didn't spear him. He just let me get my shit. Eight. That's just what happened. <laughs> it's 89 to 96. Steph Curry is actually having these guys come back. I don't know what's going on, but we actually did get a stop there. And I called for the alley. You pass D Rose to D I Pod King Carter. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we needed all game. Now, with that momentum from that nice little alley you dunk, we did take advantage by taking the lead and making it grow. Now, I call it a nice little isolation because I feel like, you know what, I could take Westbrook to the basket. I got this little isolation, so I gave him a little shimmy, try to get to the rat, no foul, but I do get the layup to go, making things happen. Now, we're not up by 10 yet, but hey, all great things happen here. I get the foul, that's a flagrant, I get the shot. It's time to get to the line, baby, hold on. Hold on, y'all gonna catch this replay though. Y'all gonna catch this replay. I almost died. Like, and nobody came to save me. Nobody wanted to fight. It just was all good. Now, Lamarcus Aldridge, that little replay right there was from him putting the business on one of our teammates. But it's all good because I'm gonna get cheese as well. I tried to cross over Westbrook, but um, it hit his leg. No replay needed. F all that. <laughs> Now it's 102 to 109 with 144 left. We got this game in the bag, but I just want to put some moves on this guy. Hit my man Paul George for three. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Check it out. Check it out one more time. Hoo Look at that. Look at that form. Look at that form. Mm. Now the game is over. We won 117 to 106. It was a great game, man. Just to think, we couldn't even win by 10. You know they nice. But this is our KC signing out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah.